Steve here. Hello, my friends. And um, the tarot card reading is uploading. It's a good one today. I liked the card that we got. And um, we're currently um, going to be working with the Mayan card, um, not the Mayan card, the Mayan calendar reading, which has to do with the Mayan calendar, which has is a calendar based on 13 moons of 28 days. We're in the 12th moon, and this moon and this month, 12th, 12th, the crystal, the 12th is the crystal moon of cooperation. This will complete on um, on June 26th, and on the 27th, the 13th moon of the year. Uh, the Cosmic Moon of Presence. I'm looking forward to the Cosmic Moon of Presence. And that will complete on July 24th. And then that's the end of the Mayan year. Then July 25th is the day out of time. And you're just going to have to read about that stuff. I talk about it and maybe you'll get it from me talking about it. Or maybe you just have to look it up for yourself. But today uh, is Crystal Day 14. And in the um, Pope Gregory calendar, this is June 12th. So would you rather have it be June 12th or Crystal 14th? It's up to you. You could have it. It's both, actually. And uh, today um, is about the heart chakra. I always like heart chakras day days. And it's the blue magnetic eagle. So in terms of the lunar tones... Um, the magnetic tone is tone number one. So there are lunar tones and there's 13 of them. And the first one is to unify and attract purpose. So I've been noticing the synchronicities that are beginning, that have been occurring, but I'm noticing them more. The synchronicity the synchronicities between the tarot readings, the Mayan calendar readings, what Thomas Hubel says in the, in the book, Attuned, and, um, and then the energies that we're working with when I set up healing fields. So tone number one is about unifying, attracting, and purposing. And all things are the differentiation of one infinity. It's all one. It's the oneness of us all. It's the universal consciousness. It's the soul of the earth, the being who is the soul of the earth is working within that universal consciousness. This process of 28 years of cleansing that began on March 22nd, 23rd of 1997, seven years of physical cleansing, 97 to 2004, <clears throat> mental cleansing, 2004 to 2011, <clears throat> excuse me, emotional cleansing, 2011 to 2018, and spiritual cleansing, 2018 to 2025. So the completion of this 28-year cycle is going to be March 23rd of 2025. Somebody asked me in the comments recently, what's going to happen after that? <laughs> and I said, I, they don't give me that information. They gave me the information of the cycles. I've been following the cycles. I was asked to do this type of thing just start giving this information out like this originally in 2011. <laughs> and I just was doing it individually with people I'd talk to and stuff, but I wasn't really wanting. I did it a bit on the a social media platform um, that I'm just not going to mention the name of, but a lot of people are on this social media platform. And I was um, removed from that platform due to my perceptions of reality that weren't shared by that platform. So we'll hope that my perceptions of reality don't upset 
the artificial intelligence who's scanning, you know, scanning my words and going like, oh, he shouldn't have said that word. <laughs> Hopefully that's not happening. And uh, if it is AI and I, we can just work this out. We can just stay friends because my only interest is giving information that you may find useful, giving you ways to work with things that you may find are difficult to work with. Um, which means that more than likely I have found them difficult to work with and I have been guided. I have voices inside my head that tell me do this and then I do that and I go, oh, that worked. Then I share it with you and you need to try it or you need to do it in order to experience if it works for you. I can tell you it worked for me, but unless you give it a go, you won't find out if it works for you. So, all things are the differentiation of one infinity. Tone one represents the source of creation. I like these words, the source of creation, the universal consciousness, the universal mind, the universal heart, however you want to say it, the indivisible essence of all that is. In the unified whole of life, nothing is outside of the one. So, there you go. You're not, I'm not, none of it is. We won't even name any other names. You say, well, that person has to be outside of the one. No, if it's one, then you're in it. You're a part of it. Whether you like it or not, or whether you like the other person or not. You can get all polarized, or you can just hold a polarity and hold the consciousness that you feel like you would like to see in the world and hold that consciousness and it may be that you'll have love and compassion in your heart. Today is the day of the heart. You may have love and compassion in your heart. And you may share that love and compassion with others, even if you don't agree with their perspective. You can still have love and compassion and understanding of them. We can, we can just do this dance together where we just think thoughts of, wow, how can I be present in this circumstance that will assist the healing of all? It's just a thought you might want to just keep. Okay, we realize we are each an expression of totality embodying a unique and essential contribution. So I like that. I'll oftentimes say, oh, I like that very much. And so I'll say that. I like that very much. We're each a unique expression of the one consciousness. Today is also, so not only is it a magnetic day, but it's a blue eagle day. And blue relates to the west. So I'm going to put my hand out towards the west. And it's about transformation. And it's related to the crown chakra. Looks like I'm freezing up here. Maybe I need to empty my trash. Um, it relates to the crown chakra and it's about creating and visioning and minding, like holding our mind in a consciousness of the reality we want. And uh, that was my answer to the question the person asked, like after this 28 year process of cleansing, what will it be like? And uh, I had to answer, I don't know. But I'm imagining harmony and understanding. People looking out for each other. People caring for each other. Learning to be in the world in ways that bring heart and meaning to the world. These are all constructs, they're all concepts. And when you take these constructs or concepts and you bring them into the world, they become reality. That's just how it works from my perspective. You may see it differently. Okay, so Hazrat Inayat Khan, who I think is a modern day mystic, maybe he was a while back. I don't know. I don't quite remember. But he supposedly said the journey towards perfection means rising above limitations. 
rising so high that not the horizon of one country or one continent only is seen, but that of the whole world. The higher we rise, the wider becomes the horizon of our view. Blue Eagle represents, what a surprise, higher collective mind, visionary creativity, and planetary consciousness. Often shown with a globe in its eye, Eagle holds an expansive scope, a grand planetary perspective. Seeing with a broad and objective view, broad and objective, we travel beyond our limited or narrow perceptions of ourselves, our lives and our world, elevating our consciousness to meet with the planet mind. Just think about that. I mean, think about it and then consider doing it. Elevate, elevating our consciousness to meet with the planet mind. Hmm. Once again, I like that. We can discover what our unique personal contributions are to assist the positive transformation of our shared reality. All who choose to attune, <laughs> this, this, this is a lot of crossover here. All who choose to attune to the planetary mind help inspire our collective consciousness to honor and serve the evolution of our living planet and global society. So doesn't that sound good? <laughs> that all who choose to attune to the planetary mind help inspire our collective consciousness to honor and serve the evolution of our living planet and global society. If it doesn't seem like it's getting good to you, then come up with something better. I mean, if we're making this up, just keep making it up until you get it right. Blue Eagles directs. Voyage in the vast creative landscape of your soul. I'm sorry, but if that just doesn't make you feel good, I don't know what will. <laughs> just makes my heart feel warm. Voyage into the vast creative landscape of your soul. Discover unlimited clear seeing. I like this. Fertile imagination and groundbreaking ideas. Vision is a gift. Portray and reveal so others may also see. Bring your perspective from the highest, most all-encompassing viewpoint possible. Access the visionary within, seeing and believing in that which has not yet manifest. Here's the point. Seeing and believing in that which has not yet manifest, manifest. Give flight to your sacred vision. And with that, I have inspired myself. <laughs> and hopefully that will inspire others as well, especially you, because these words are for you. You can take them in deeply, and you can just feel things change. Because your consciousness is just an aspect of the highest consciousness there is. The highest consciousness is all good. All right, now let's go.